The CDC reports flu activity is on the rise across the country. St. Joseph the Provider Catholic School was closed today because of the illness. And several hospitals have put visitor restrictions in place to keep the flu from spreading. 27 First News reporter Alex George is live in the studio with that story. Hey, good evening, Dave and Erica. Flu season got off to a slow start this year, but doctors reported an increase in cases across the country and here in the valley. And even though the start of spring is just days away, doctors expect the flu activity continue for several weeks. All Mercy Health Youngstown facilities have implemented visitation restrictions effective immediately until the flu subsides. That includes St. Elizabeth facilities in Youngstown and Boardman, St. Joseph Warren Hospitals, the Assumption Village, Marion Living Center, and Humility House. Remember, there are a lot of sick people in the hospital. We don't want to make their illness worse by adding influenza. The guidelines are to help protect patients, residents, their families, and caregivers. If you're ill and coming to visit someone at the hospital, we would ask that you email them, phone, uh, send them a card. I think they would understand. Family members are not allowed to stay overnight in the room with a patient. Waiting rooms in other public areas will not be available for overnight accommodations. And visitors under the age of 14 will not be permitted at all until the end of flu season. They get exposed to a lot of things. Daycare, school. Um, my understanding is one of the schools closed today because of influenza. So that's part of the reason why we ask under the age of 14. Dr. Kriatzola says the mild winter likely played a part in the slow start to flu season, but the flu shot also had a lot to do with it. It could possibly be due to a lot of immunizations prior uh, where people get immunized and the virus just can't take hold um, in a general population until later in the year. The CDC says this season's vaccine is nearly 60% effective against the viruses. Now, there are a few very simple habits that you can practice to protect yourself from the flu. Wash your hands often with soap and water. Cover your cough and sneeze, not with your hands, but with your arm or a tissue. And if you are sick, stay at home. If you haven't already gotten your flu shot, there, if there's still flu activity, it's always a good idea. Alex George, 27 First News at 6.